2018 Seed Leon Spirian's 2014-2018 Review The Good Points of Seed Leon Spirian's 2014-2018 Sharp yet rugged styling Decent to push Spacious, practical interior Well equipped The Bad Points of Seed Leon Spirian's 2014-2018 Limited choice in engines and trims Leon Street can make more sense for many. Expensive top spec models. Some will discover interior dull. Take one check out any estate car brochure and you also will soon realize how active manufacturers wish to think their potential customers are, the type of people who cycle up a mountain every Saturday morning and go whitewater rafting on the Sunday. The seat Leon Spirience is one kind of those cars that will fit the bill due to this kind of lifestyle. No less than according to Seat. It's in accordance with the Seat Leon Street estate, but has become jacked up a tad, had some black plastic cladding included with the exterior and given now wheel drive. It doesn't contain the class to itself though, with in-house rivals by means of the Volkswagen Golf Altrack and Skoda Octavius got to deal with, together with upmarket rivals much like the Audi A4 Alroad and Volvo V60 Cross Country. Not only this, it also has to fight competition from your fiercest of competition, the ever eye expanding crossover small SUV class. Off road ability, everyday practicality. The Leon experience is depending on the capable and capacious Leon Street Estate model, and gains advantage from that car's impressive 587 liter boot 1470 liters with rear seats folded but adds 28 millimeters for the ride height in conjunction with chunky plastic body cladding. It also features four wheel drive, which channels chance to whichever width of four wheels possesses by far the most grip at any point, though in normal driving conditions it uses front wheel drive to enhance efficiency. Without a separate off-road mode or hill descent control, it's not just a true off-roader nevertheless it can manage heavily rutted roads and gives reassurance on the extra traction if affords in wet, muddy, wintry, or simply plain miserable conditions. Engine and trim choice. There's merely one engine with two different power outputs available, a familiar 2.0-liter TDI turbozel that's present in several VW, Audi and Skoda models along with other seats. Buyers can select from a 150 horsepower version, which can be only available having a 6-speed manual gearbox, while those in search of more power can select a 184 horsepower model paired which has a 6-speed DSG dual-clutch automatic gearbox. There are two trim choices, again dependent upon which engine you end up picking. The 150 horsepower diesel is available in say technology trim whilst the higher powered model is only accessible in say lux form. All models come loaded with standard equipment though, and that is reassuring with the experience's relatively high price for the top with the Leon range. If you may stretch to your price with the higher spec, higher powered 2.0 liter TDI say lux, the DSG gearbox suits your vehicle's nature perfectly indeed, and results in an excellent all-rounder that's punchy refined and economical. It also has every one of the equipment you may ask for in the family car, too. Well-built, practical interior. The standard sports seats in advance offer an ideal combination of support, comfort and adjustability while being accessible in cloth, alcantara and leather trim. A smattering of Spirian spadges feature throughout in rear seat passengers enjoy ample leg and headroom. The experience comes fitted having a large and clear 8.0-inch touchscreen infotainment system as standard with Satanov, DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity, and it's all a breeze to use. You can pay extra for just a more feature-packed system that incorporates Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, along with an upgraded speakers and 3D maps. In the boot you'll chose the same splinter level load floor like other Leon Street models, and size continues to be same because of clever packaging on the four-wheel drive system. Swapping through the 587 liter space for the maximum 1,470 liter capacity is the flick of your lever away too, as a result of remote backrest releases from the sidewalls from the boot. Diesel power will be your only choice. 
manual and DSG auto options. Both are punchy and responsive. There are simply two engine options from the Leon Spiriance minus 150 horsepower or 184 horsepower versions on the same 2.0 liter turbodiesel engine. Their engines found elsewhere inside the Leon range, and in addition they remain being punchy and strong choices for the Spiriance. At the heart with the Spiriance's appeal is its Haldex all-wheel drive system. It's a part-time arrangement that may send ability to whatever wheel has by far the most traction with the conditions. It doesn't drastically affect performance, though there exists a slight weight penalty thanks on the extra hardware. Choose the entry-level 2.0 liter with 150 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque and also the Leon Spiriance will complete the sprint from 062 miles per hour in a mere 8.7 seconds and carry on to a 129 miles per hour top speed. It's an easy and willing performer, with the even SP watch of torque from 1750 revolutions per minute to a few, 000 revolutions per minute making for the flexible response and spirited acceleration irrespective of gear selected. Should take a look at want to exercise your left leg whatsoever. The 184 horsepower version in the same 2.0 liter diesel engine is solely provided with the excellent 6 speed DSG dual clutch automatic gearbox. Well judged ratios and smooth quick shifting out of this gearbox mean this model can accelerate from 062 miles per hour within 7.1 seconds. It's precisely the same engine you'll find inside a VW Golf GTD, so it's no real shock it's as quick since it is. Equally potent in their mid-range, because of 380 newton meters of torque it'll accelerate them anyway to 139 miles per hour too. However, actually, the gap between the two engines isn't as noticeable perhaps you may expect. Handling is tidy, in any other case exciting. Blends comfort and sportiness adequately. Drive modes positioned on faster models. If you wish to take advantage on the firm's drive profile system which alters the steering, engine, climate control and, where fitted, the DSG dual-clutch gearbox responses, you will should opt to the Salux model. Regardless, unlike other Leon models, there's no substitute for add the dynamic chassis control DCC which alters the damper's reactions. Still, swapping between Eco, Normal, Sport and individual modes does produce a noticeable difference in steering weight though crucially get rid of feel in the rim. We'd leave the steering in normal if this were us, sport simply becoming heavier than necessary. All experience models feature raised comfort suspension so sharp handling isn't really this car's forte. That said, the Leon Street the car will be based upon has always felt light on its feet with quick, faithful and neutral responses to inputs, with lots of grip and neat handling. Adding an all-wheel drive system only has improved the previous, and no matter what whether the Leon Street Spiriance holds on tight to your road below with hardly any body roll. It'll even venture off-road with aplomb, the 28mm higher ground clearance letting it tackle rutted roads with confidence plus the four-wheel drive system meaning shallow inclines and declines pose little problem. Even whether it's not just a veritable Land Rover Defender rival within the muddy stuff. It can allow keepers to venture a bit further away from the beaten track than regular Leon Street owners can. It'll come up with a great tow cart too, having a braked towing capacity of 2,000 kg to the manual gearbox and 1,600 kg for that DSG automatic. Tidy interior is simple to navigate. Materials are of audio quality. Very simple to get comfortable. We've for ages been a fan with the Leon's interior. Managing to combine quality materials with sharp contemporary design, as well as the experience is not any different. In fact, try to tell the gap between this car's cabin and that in the five-door hatchback, three-door SC and the street estate it's depending on and you'll need to look close. There are changes though, namely some orange stitching for your seats and leather controls and a smattering of experience badges. Talking of such chairs, there's the option for cloth a brown Alcantara and leather mixture or full leather coverings. Choose the Alcantara option plus the tactile suede-like material makes its way into the door panels to increase comfort all the more, 
it will make the Leon feel more upmarket. As with all the rest in the range the seats are perfectly comfortable and provides plenty of adjustment, along with the neat three-spoke controls. Otherwise the dashboard layout is often intuitive, with solid and neatly detailed VW Group switch gear including simple to utilize climate controls and row of buttons forward on the gear lever easily the fingertips. Just below this row of controls can be a handy cubby hole lidded on early Leon models but this time open on account of lid quality problems that's perfect for cell phones or sunglasses cases. The lidded cubby within the front seat armrest is within the small side, as well as the glove box is slightly compromised from the CD player to the infotainment system, but in conjunction with the decent sized door bins there ought to be enough storage for some users needs. Maneuvering from the trip computer's information or managing the Satan event infotainment method is simple, and also the high-quality screens both main device and between instruments creates pleasant viewing. All models come having a slick 8.0-inch touchscreen that's crisp and easy to operate. Comfort levels are impressive. Suspension is nicely balanced. Not too harsh, much less soft. Just one take a look at a brochure implies that seat Leon's experience comfort is probably going to score highly, with every example coming fitted with raised comfort suspension. Despite the taller springs, and slight weight increase through the four-drive all-wheel drive system, the Leon rides very comfortably indeed, to become fair the taller profile tires around the 17 or 18 inch wheels could possibly be contributing to this. Certainly it's more compliant versus the for specified Leon Street models that may feel overly stiff for the rear, and unless it's a hulking great speed hump or deep pothole, the Leon experience simply shrugs imperfections off without fuss. The sports style seats, if they are covered in cloth, leather or alcantara, offer a good amount of support, adjustment as also does the tire and comfort. The Alcantara clad versions also SP watch their simulated suede into the door cards, so elbow leaners are nestling up beside soft, warm and tactile material in lieu of cold hard plastic of other versions. Rear seat occupants benefit from a lot of space too, and no matter where you sit there's little from the way or tire roar or wind noise either, at a constant cruise the Leon experience is hushed and refined. Choice of two Leon experience trim levels. Both are equipped for that money. Optional extras could be added. If you're expecting a large and varied selection of trim levels and options while using seat Leon experience then you're going to get sorely disappointed. You find just two trim levels to pick out between, say technology and say lux. Standard seat Leon experience equipment. Based for the Leon Street Estate the experience sits 28mm more than the car due to extended suspension springs and larger tires. Chunky plastic bumper and wheel arch extensions and aluminium look scuff plates for the front and rear complement this jacked up look. Say technology models come generously equipped while using following. 18 inch alloy wheels. LED headlights. Electric folding door mirrors. Alcantara upholstery. Dual zone climate control. Cruise control. Rear parking sensors. Convenience pack, including automatic lights and wipers and auto dimming rear view mirror. 8.0 inch touchscreen infotainment system with Satan of Bluetooth, DAB radio, voice control, as well as USB ports. Autonomous emergency braking. Sate technology cars are available fitted with 9 airbags as standard, 4 drive all wheel drive, and XDS electronic differential lock. Move as much as say Lux and you take advantage of seat drive profile, switchable drive modes to toggle between eco, normal, sport and individual settings for the engine, steering, climate control and gearbox only on DSG models, chrome roof rails, black leather upholstery, electric driver's seat, winter pack, heated front seats, headlight washers and heated washer nozzles, optional seat Leon experience extras, Accessories for that Leon experience are rather limited, but you will find there's selection of bundled option packs with key equipment included. There are two quantities of driver assistance packs, with driving assistance pack 1 coming rich in beam assist and lane assist, 
while driving assistance pack 2 includes traffic sign recognition on top in the first pack. There's also the advanced comfort in driving pack 1, including driving assistance pack 1 and adding traffic jam assist and emergency assist. As you move the advanced comfort in driving pack 2 includes the aforementioned, but replaces the driving assistance pack 1 with pack 2. Park assistance pack adds front and back parking sensors plus a rear view camera, even though the safety pack adds tiredness recognition as well as a seat belt reminder for that rear seats. Some individual solutions include keyless entry and ignition with wireless phone charging, and also adaptive cruise control. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto via Seats Full Link System, a panoramic sunroof, along with an upgraded subwoofer and navigation system. Leon Safety Levels Al Wachi High. 5 stars from your own cap for regular Leon. Extra safety features may be added. It's unlikely how the seat Leon experience may have its safety levels verified that has a specific your own cap crash test. Though the Leon hatchback was through its paces and awarded it the whole 5 stars in 2012. As such, the off the shelf Leon Street and Experience are expected to become just as safe. Regardless of how many percent it scores for adult, child, and pedestrian safety, the Leon is packed with safety kit as standard. Nine airbags, including one for your driver's knees, are fitted as standard, and ice fix mounting points are found about the outer rear seats. In relation to its active safety, adaptive cruise control with brake function can be acquired as an option, as they are lane departure warning along with a city brake function to determine slow moving or stationary objects that can be involved in a very collision without driver intervention. Tiredness recognition alerts the motive force if they are fatigued enough to require a brief break from driving to relax. Should the worst happen as well as an accident is unavoidable the conventional multi-collision brake system applies the anchors after a primary impact in order to lessen the chances of your secondary incident with passing vehicles or scenery. There are lots of driver assistance systems bundled into option packs open to add at expense, which keeps you and your occupants as safe as you possibly can. Leon's experience boasts excellent practicality. Plenty of passenger room and spacious boot also a good amount of extra storage throughout. As it's in accordance with the street estate, Leon's experience practicality is impressive, and Seed claims this car is aimed towards lifestyle junkies equally likely to become running a triathlon as taking around the school run. Of course you're almost certainly going to see experience stuffed with Tesco carriers or Ikea flat packs in lieu of snowboards or muddy mountain bikes. Regardless of things to transport, the headline figures still impress with 587 liters of boot space together with the seat set up, plus a generous 1,470 liters together with the rear seats folded flat. They actually do fold flat too, so longer or larger items sit securely. And this process cavernous and capacious state is a no-brainer, together with the merest pull of your boot mounted lever dropping the backrest available for you. So there's no should clamber above the cabin potentially with muddy boots, in case the market ears be believed metamorph it into full on load lugger. And needless to say for those chasing a dynamic lifestyle the Leon experience is perfectly practical, the all-wheel drive system letting them traverse the odd field for the way for the mountain bike tracks or for the river to get on the sailing club. It goes without saying you add to this practicality that has a range of seat accessories including a tow bar. Car by crack or roof bars having a variety of adapters specifically targeted at securing specialist sports equipment.